Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. Now, just a quick reminder that as usual, since this is a weekly series, I won't go over the deals that are still on sale from last week's video that have less than a day left on them. But if you are watching this video as soon as it's posted, I do strongly recommend you watch that other video because there are some really great games that still have about 12 to 16 hours left on the sale. And I'll leave the link up above. And secondly, what's really great about this week's list is that it is packed with indie titles. But what that means is that the games are uber cheap. With maybe one or two exceptions, almost every game this week will be under $10 and even more than half the list will be under $5. So since January is always a slump for AAA titles, it's a great time to pick up like three or four games without even spending $20. Now, as usual, don't forget that if you do like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. But now let's get started with the list. Now, the first game on our list is actually one of the exceptions that are above $10, and that is Crash Team Racing. Now, unfortunately, the free trial period for this game is up, but there's still two days left on the deal, and at 50%, this game is a great pickup. If you like kart-style racers, but would like something a little deeper and harder than Mario Kart, well then Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is an excellent pickup. I really even like this game more than Mario Kart because I seem like the time investment into getting better at the game is more fruitful than with Mario Kart. I still love Mario Kart as a party game when I play with friends, with family and whatnot, but if you want a more deep kart racer, Crash Team Racing I find has a, big, a higher payoff for getting really skilled at the game. Now the second game on our list is going to be Daddish. And Daddish is actually a new entry to our series and I actually just discovered it myself. And at 80% off for $2, this is a really solid 2D platformer. It's done with a really simple aesthetic, but it's just really, really fun. It's not too difficult, but it is a one hit kill game. So you do have to plan out your moves carefully, but at the same time, the difficulty level isn't too high and there's some really nice bits of humor in this game. So if you're looking for a more laid back, but still fun 2D platformer, Daddish for $2 is an excellent pickup. Now the next game on our list is going to be an awesome FPS game, and that is Bulletstorm the Duke of Switch Edition basically making Duke Nukem a playable character in the game. And if you want just a really solid and fun FPS shooter, this is a great, great pickup right now, especially because it's 75% off at only $7.49, making it an excellent entry. And since the Switch doesn't have that many top-notch FPS games, well, I really wouldn't let this one go by if you're a fan of that type of gameplay. Now the next game is actually another FPS game and it is Crisis Remastered. Now this game was on last week's list but there are still quite a few days left which is why I'm re-mentioning it. It is a little bit more expensive at $17.99 but nonetheless it is still 40% off and just came out a few months ago. And if you want another really solid FPS experience, well Crisis Remaster is another great pickup. Although, as I said earlier, it's a little more expensive. But at the same time, I would say this game being a remaster is a little bit more polished than Bulletstorm. So once again, for this week, FPS fans get really two solid awesome entries on the list. Now the next game on our list is another returning game from last week and that will be Valferis. This is basically a 2D platform shooter and with the deal on Axiom Verge up, I would say that currently I am now comfortable to say that with the sales that are on right now, this is the best 2D platform shooter that is currently on sale. And at 55% off for only $11.24, it is still a great pickup even though it's one of the more expensive games on today's list. Basically, if you're seeing these screenshots in front of you, it has an awesome, awesome visual presentation and at the same time, some really solid gameplay. So if you love 2D platform shooters, this is a great pickup. Now the next game on the list I couldn't go without mentioning and that is Charge Kid. I actually just reviewed this game and the review came out just this morning. So if you want more in-depth information about the game, I strongly suggest you pick it up. But basically this is a hardcore puzzle platformer. Basically in the same style as the first Super Meat Boy. So if you like really, really difficult puzzle platformers, this is a great pickup. And don't be mistaken by the extremely simple presentation of the game. The mechanics are very, very solid and very, very deep. 
And on top of it, this game has a regular price of only $2.49. And right now, it's maybe only 20% off, but the package you're getting for $1.99 is almost unbeatable value-wise. But just fair warning, this is an extremely difficult game. If you get frustrated by having to replay the same levels more than a dozen times, maybe stay away from this one. But if not, definitely pick it up. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Butcher, which is another 2D retro styled shooter. However, this one, I would say compared to Val Ferris, is much more fast paced and aims to be much more gory. However, it's done in a very pixelated style, so take with that what you will. However, the big attraction of this game, obviously right now, is the price. If you're on a solid budget, but you nonetheless want a very solid 2D shooter and Val Ferris at $11 is too expensive, Butcher can be an excellent, excellent second option. And at 75% off for only $2.49, this is another great value pickup for this week. Now, if we look right next to the last game, we have another returning entry from last week's list, and that is Slain Back from Hell. If you're looking for a 2D platformer, but your style of combat is more melee based than shooter, well then Slain Back from Hell for this week is an excellent entry. Once again, this is done in a more gory Castlevania-esque type style with some really awesome heavy metal music to back it up. And at $4.99, making it 75% off, this is another excellent value pickup this week. Now, the next game I want to talk about on the list is Zeo Drifter. And basically, this is a very light Metroidvania. When I say light, it's just that the gameplay is very fun. However, the game never goes too deep and isn't that that long. However, if you're looking for a really pleasant experience that you can knock out in a few hours and overall feel good about your experience without having to spend 10, 15 hours to finish a Metroidvania, Zeo Drifter for me was a ton, ton of fun. And especially right now at 80% off for only $1.99, I mean, the experience seems perfectly, perfectly priced for what you get. So if you like Metroidvanias, but you want sort of a light one just to fill in the gap till some AAA titles hit in February and March, well, Zeo Drifter can give you a few awesome hours of gameplay. Now, the next game I would like to talk about is Odalis the Dark Call. Basically, this is a game done in really like a retro Castlevania style, but with slight RPG elements start to be thrown in. Basically, we never sort of got that transition point between the old Castlevania series and Symphony of the Night on the PS1. Well, imagine that this game would have been that sort of transition phase. It's not at all as deep and it's not a fully fleshed out Metroidvania, but it's nonetheless adds a few extra elements that the first Castlevanias didn't have overall. And basically, that's where Odalis falls. That is the type of gameplay to expect. And overall, at $2.99, at 75% off, you get a really solid experience for what you're paying. Now, the next game on my list is going to be another 2D action platformer, and that will be Ghoul Boy. Right now, Ghoul Boy is 80% off, dropping the price to only $1.99. And I find that overall, this is one of the most solid experiences we're getting price-wise for this week's list. So if you're looking for a 2D action platformer and you're not sure what to choose, I would say Ghoul Boy is probably one of the safest choices for this week for an all-around appreciation. Basically, it has some really fun gameplay mechanics and at the same time, it's not too, too deep and not too complex. Although at $1.99, it feels just right for the experience you're paying for. Now, the next game on my list is going to be an awesome twin stick shooter and that is Gunpig Firepower for Hire. And right now, this game is 50% off, dropping its price down to only $2.49. Now, this is another game that I reviewed on the channel about a month ago. So if you want an in-depth review, check it out. However, the gist of it is this. The game has an amazing visual presentation, controls extremely well, and the gunplay is very, very fast and very, very fun. However, the only thing the game has as a drawback is that it's done in arcade style where a full run through of the game is only 20 to 25 minutes. And the point of the game is to replay it over and over again, trying to get a better high score, try out different weapons, finish the game faster and so forth. If you like those type of arcade games where you can replay them many times and the overall run is short but feels very accomplishing, 
well, this is an awesome game to try out. And at $2.49, now it feels really, really adequate for the overall price and experience. Now, we only have a couple of games left, and the before last one I want to take a look at is Pixboy. Now, Pixboy is a game that's after my heart, because you, if you're starting to follow the channel and you know me, I love 2D basically ultra retro style games especially when they're done like this in the sort of Game Boy esque format now this is 60 percent off at only a dollar 99 and i was actually late to discover this platformer it's a really really solid and fun platformer the once again the only thing that ha it has going against it is that it's a bit short but it, it controls extremely well and for the overall visual presentation it's really fun and just as a sort of hint Overall, through the gameplay, you get actually a lot of options to unlock really different visual styles. So you actually get to experience the same game over and over again with really different overall visual presentations. You basically get to upgrade the visuals as you unlock parts of the game. So it's really a awesome experience and I really appreciated it a lot. And I'm, I was actually disappointed that it took such a long time for me to discover it. So right now, this is another one of my top recommendations for this week. If you like these retro style platformers, this is an excellent entry at $1.99. Now, last but definitely not least on our list, we have Xenoraptor, which is another amazing twin stick shooter. This one, however, is a lot longer than Gunpig, and it's done in a more traditional style when we look at the format wise, but visually, this is a very appealing twin stick shooter and gameplay wise, it is very solid. At its full price of $15, I'm sort of iffy on this title because I do feel there are better ones on the Switch at that price, but at 75% off for only $374 right now, this makes it an excellent deal and probably one of the best overall twin stick shooters that is currently on sale on the Switch. So if you like that style of gameplay and you're looking for an awesome twin stick shooter, I would say that your best and safest purchase this week should be Xenoraptor. So that's pretty much it for this week's list. And although we didn't have really many AAA titles, I still think that overall we got a really solid value for the budget list. Now, as usual, I'm always keeping an eye out on the eShop. So if ever there's a big sale that hits, I'll be doing a special edition of eShop deals to really let you know right away when they come out. But if not, every week I'll be coming out with a list of what are the best games that are currently on sale as usual. So as I said at the beginning, if you did end up liking this video, please do hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all of my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.